Hi and welcome to RTG, Retro Tech Guardian. Um, I've been the car boot, first one since uh, we've been allowed back outside. Um, and it was uh, Adam's uh, Chelford car boot sale near Nutsford in the UK. And uh, we went there Sunday, uh, nice and early, uh, had a little walk around. I was after very specific things. I need tapes and some videos to test items I've got come in and a couple of the videos I've got portable video player and and um so I wanted some video tapes so I can test them make sure the mechanisms are right I don't want to ruin my tape so I just bought some cheap ones so uh right we'll quickly go through what I picked up first thing was this little Samsung uh, DVD RW drive um it uses just a mini USB that's all there is in there and then obviously it powers up with that goes into your USB port and that's it. I have a Surface Tab Pro I use for my, my own personal computer at the moment. And uh, and just in case you're interested, it's model SESO84 and it's an external DVD writer. Uh, it thoroughly works, I have tested it. I've not got my computer in this room so I can't show you that one up and running, um, but it does work. And as you can see, the guy had it for 350. And I bought that off him, and also he had these, which are the uh, mono phono plugs. Now, I've got these because I do have a Fostex 4-track recorder, uh, tape recorder. Now, I wanted to do a video on that, um, showing the uh, line in and everything, but uh, the inputs are, because there's four separate inputs, they're obviously mono inputs. I didn't have any of these uh, six six mil jacks, uh, the mono ones. Uh, I do have stereo ones, uh, but they're no good for mono for what I need for each individual track. So I do have a, a stereo jack to two three and a half mil monos, but these were there. So I thought, well, I've got an old jack to jack lead. I'll cut it open. We'll solder them up and that will just go into the headphone socket of my computer straight into the cassette deck. And then we can try that Fostex and put that on a video in the future. So that's what they were for. Now I got that from the same guy with the DVD writer. So uh, £4, he charged me 50p for them. And they're really hard to come by. Well, you know, you can get them online probably, but you don't see them out in the wild. So £4 for them, superb. Uh, and then I saw these. And uh, I normally don't pick up floppies, but they're brand new. They're three and a half mil, high density, um, TDKs. They've still got the little label pack still there. And as you can see, none of them have been used. So they're all in really good nick. So uh, I do have old computers. I know I've not done computers on this channel. Uh, and I wanted to stay away from the computers because, to be honest, the computers have been done to death all over YouTube already. Um... But there is a couple of little bits that I do have that I wouldn't mind showing people because they're a little bit different. Um, so I thought, well, I'll get myself some floppies. You never know. We can sort that out, do something with that. So they were £2.10, brand new in the box, never been used, superb. And then I got one of these little iNos box kit. Uh, this is a rain detector one, as you can see, electronic device. Um... Now, there was some AA batteries in here, Duracell, but they'd leaked. Luckily, they weren't in the actual machine. They were just on this bit of paper in the top here. Um, so I took that out, and as you can see, it looks a bit worse for wear, this. Uh, the acid has dried. You can see the discoloration here. Uh, the acid has dried. This is only a little thing showing you what other kits they do anyway. And uh, So, yeah, so that was in it. And then there was a little bit of damage on this corner from the acid. And this is how to make uh, the rain detector. And it shows you a little bit about electricity there. Look, so it's a little learning tool. And I, I quite like these little things. So I picked it up. It was only 50p. And you can see someone's already put these little links in place here. You can just see those little links in. Someone's already put the links in and the little piezo speaker, which is seen better days. Uh, and then there's only three components and they're all in here um, There's a little transistor a little capacitor and then obviously all your cables for it So 
I'll have a go at making it up just for a bit of fun. Um, but I do kind of like these little uh, electronic project kits. So, again, 50p. It's not going to break the bank. I quite like them. Uh, so that's that. Then I did find some tapes. So I found a Sony 90. Um, these are all 50p. Well, this one was 50p. Uh, a 90 minute one. Uh, unfortunately, there was no chrome or metal tapes, which... You know, you to look at the drawer, but these are just for testing the old tape decks, and I don't care if they get chewed up or spat out or whatever. Um, and I can just splice them, put them back together, and it, it won't bother me because there's none of my own personal recordings on there. So then I found a Sky one, brand new in the packet. A guy charged me a pound for that one, and then I found this Toshiba 60 minute low noise cassette tape. That one is actually factory sealed. You can just see the strip on that there uh 50p again and then i also found this for the spectrum 48 128k or plus two the toyota Celica gt rally um it's in there with its instruction book as you can see pops out the tape looks in half decent condition now i don't have a spectrum at the moment to test this but it was only 50p and i thought yeah do you know what for 50p i'll pick it up and uh so, yeah, so I thought that was a good little find. Uh, you don't see many Spectrum games or Commodore 64 games, original ones out. I mean, as you can see, it came from Boots 399. That was a few years ago. And then, like I say, I've got some uh, video players and portable video decks, which I'm repairing. And I wanted to just get some cheap videos because I don't want to ruin my videos on them. Um, so I bought some really like 50p each of these every one of these was 50p each um now five easy pieces jack nicholson 1492 conquest of paradise and i really do apologize if these are really super rare films or anything and i don't realize but they probably will get recorded over um then 1951 parkfield the year to remember again i only got it because it was 50p and i want to just <clears throat> test cassette decks and like I say I don't care if they get chewed up and then last but not least uh, guy had a MagSafe charger this is a MagSafe 2 45 watt I think it's for the MacBook Air um, it's got that connector on the top if anybody knows oh, let's see if we can get that to focus eh? come on there you go so it's got that connector on the top if anybody knows come on focus Oh, well, doesn't want to play ball. Um, so, anyway, I've not tried that yet. Um, I don't have a MacBook. I'm getting one um, on... I should be picking one up on Friday, so maybe next week we can plug this in and just make sure it powers up. I could put my multimeter... Uh, but I put my multimeter away now, and it's not to hand, so I can't actually test it at this, on this moment. So, yeah, so uh, a bit dirty, needs a good clean. I'll bleach the cable, uh, try and get that a bit whiter. Same with the power lead, same with the brick. Um, and yeah, so £2 for that. So all in all, wasn't a bad little haul. That was what, 4, 6, 8, 9, 50, 10, 50, 12, um, £14 all in, was it? Um, no, it wasn't. It was £12.50 all in. So that's all I spent, £12.50, that's all I got. Um, so yeah, I just thought I'd show you what kind of things you can get at these car boots and nothing really exciting. There was <clears throat> quite a nice JVC um, stereo cassette deck. I don't have the room to collect the bigger uh, hi-fi items at the moment, maybe in the future. Um, and there was a little LCD tally, which uh, I would normally pick up a little Casio handheld, but I already have that exact model, so I didn't bother. The guy only wanted two quid for it. So, you know, some of these things can be really cheap. So, yeah, I just thought I'd share with you what I found. Um, <clears throat> I will be going again this weekend. I am going to try and find a way to record it uh, so I can actually show you what, what there is out there and me picking things up actually on the video. Uh, so yeah bear with me and like I say that will get better then and uh, like I say if you like the video give us a like if you didn't like it tell me you didn't leave a comment and if you really fancy it please subscribe and uh, yeah it just help me out and um, I can go on with doing some more videos for you.
I want thanks very much for your time. Speak to you soon. Goodbye. Oh, 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 o